<laughs> okay, here we are, the last day of the 2016 radio extravaganza. Let's go see what else we can find. Well, it's great. You know, we're happy. This is the second year that the Michigan Antique Radio Club, which specializes in vintage electronics, has uh, come to uh, Kalamazoo County Expo Fairgrounds. It's fantastic. Uh, we have folks from not only Michigan, but Illinois and several other states. And, uh, you know, they're experts and uh, collectors and uh, hobbyists and business guys that um, work with um, antique and vintage electronics. There's folks from uh, vintage electronics museums. There's a fellow here from uh, West Virginia. And, um, you know, the, the, the um, basic idea is that we work with electronics from the um, age at the beginning of radio and phonographs and recorded music and audio and uh, there's a lot of things that are special about it. Uh, the proposed front of a museum uh, in Bloomfield, New York, it's um, the Antique Wireless Association yeah. and um, I happen to have one of the computer programs, I can scan it in and generate a chart. It looks like I'm about a third done so far. Good job, looks great. Nice. Excellent stuff to be doing while at radio convention. That's right. <laughs> Thanks. It does not work. And it does not work. It's as found. It actually, okay. I've never never even plugged it in. Oh. So it was one of my projects that it's at least 10 years old in my garage. Okay. And always had intentions of restoring it. Who makes that one? This is a Majestic. Majestic. Okay. And one of the things that's unusual is the... Uh, the pipe organ. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. And then the stained glass on either side, which lights, and uh, it's, it's a tuning indicator. So you came oh. up from Toledo, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. From and Toledo, what's your name? And uh, we got a good scene, a lot of record shops in Toledo. Yes, we do. Culture Clash Records, I'm not sure if you're familiar. They have a lot of old school stereo equipment, good stuff, quality stuff, and uh, a lot of vinyl. All right, did you buy anything today? Just got here. I'm still making right. around. Because you know you can't leave unless you buy. I always do. <laughs> all right, man. <laughs> Tubes. That is a good guy. And so oh, good. Yeah. Hey. 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 How you doing, man? All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I think I'm. I will put it on for sure. That'd be the surprise ending. <laughs> How you guys doing? <laughs> There he is, the guy that's always moving in on my wife. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I see how it is. I see how it is. I see how it is. Great. You know, you can stay here for a while. Can I? Really? Yeah. Oh, well, I'll work on it. He wouldn't like it. No, he wouldn't. He <laughs> wouldn't like it. This is our granddaughter. This is great. This is Emmy. Hi. Good to see you, man. I'm happy with it. Yeah. Now, the, the big question is, is my wife going to be happy with it? And can, I, can I either explain it or can I hide it in the basement where she can't see it? Don't watch this, honey. Believe me, man. I've lived the life for 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. We have here is a 1949 Admiral TV, uh, original cabinet, one uh, non-original, but uh, CRT's got a good picture on it, it was recapped and uh, rebuilt, All right. a stable picture on it. How'd you do at the swap meet this year? Swap meet did okay. Alright, better than last year? No. So what do you think of the event? Was it okay this year? Yeah, it was. It was a little slow afternoon, but I think it was a successful event. Good. Good. Going home with more now than what you did yesterday? That's what I thought. Morning. I'm back. What kind of fish stories you guys saying here? <laughs> Big ones. Yeah? yeah? This guy was an engineer. Catfish and cars. You know what old record players like that are good for? What? Exercising toads. I used to do it when I was a kid. You put them on there, you put, put it on toad 16. on the platter? Yeah, oh put it on goodness. 16, yeah. and they can walk around in circles. I think there's a representative from the ASPCA around here that <laughs> wants to talk to you. We are here to help our father liquidate his radio collection, his novelty transistor radio collection. Okay. This Not is just part of it, and then he's got the wood radios, and the tube radios, and the table radios all at home, so cool. we're, we're getting a start on this. Well, where's home at so I can come get first dibs? His part home is in Montague. Montague. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, what have you think? I mean, has the event been fun? Meet some interesting people? It's been fun. It's been great. Yeah. It's been wonderful. Good. Would you do it again? Yes. yes. All We're right. talking about that. Do you have any idea what that is? <laughs> what do you think? What, what is it? Go ahead. A spin phone? It's a telephone? Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? 
You never used one like that, have you? No. My daughter hasn't either. Big mouse is in there. Stick your hand in there, he'll bite you. Ha ha, Barry. <laughs> so on these radios, you do mostly the wood restoration, right? Yeah, or? that's what I'm best at. Okay. You know, All right. So. So what, what do you got left? Is this a, is that a Zenith, right? Yeah, I got several Zeniths here that I've restored on the, on the cabinets. Okay. And how how sales this year? Oh, uh, not too bad. Good. Good. So it was worth coming down? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Six hours to get here. <laughs> I live on the Mississippi. Oh. Okay, so apparently there was a contest for different displays of radios and ribbons were awarded. Let's see what uh, kind of ribbons were awarded and what kind of stuff we have. This is an old pilot radio. Looks like a schematic here. Coils. And there's the old ribbon. Go over here. Another pilot. Some vintage computer stuff. Pretty neat. Some magic boxes. Can't really tell you what they are. Maybe crystal sets? Not sure. Detroit, Michigan. Like somebody made a homebrew crystal set from Popular Electronics. Schematic over here. There's another one next to it. Cool stuff. Good to see people still building. have the mystical bug Some kind of an old radio set this guy got first place I can see why it looks like it's got the original box imagine that Vintage toys. I guess they're radios in disguise. Got cars, cannons, helmets, more cars, balls, you name it. And this one took third place. So this category was major brand radios, and here's an old Grundig with the matching speakers. like a controller. First place on that baby. Let's see why. Be nice to have our tube room look like this. They call these orphan radios. So, good luck, man. Beautiful pieces in totally original condition. Uh, uh, it's like I'm restored by a former club president, John Wayne. So, I don't get you to do that. That one took first place. Uh, 
So here's two more of the orphans. Here's an old Sears Silvertone model R111. For the best restoration, we've got two bake lights here. Gorgeous. Here's a true tone. You see a lot of these on auction sites for big money. So this one appears to have been for a prop in a movie. I don't know if this is the real McCoy, but it looks good. It's ours. Oh, is it? Yeah. So, is this one the real machine, the real yeah, thing? This is the this is the machine that was in the window in the Christmas story. So there was a scene. It's not the one that was in the house. But it was the one that was in the store window that the kid looked at. Wow, I know. That's, that's cool, man. And uh, they actually filmed part of the Christmas story in Cleveland, and this radio came from Cleveland. All right. That's so super. I just think it's neat. That yeah, it sure is. So this guy. Uh, I love this thing. If I could get it, I would. I think it is just so, so cool. Spoken like somebody that does not want me to have any more radios. Right. Yeah. Still recovering. So here are our best preservation award. Look at that baby. Gorgeous. And it appears as though it has the original box, original paperwork. And that is a 1938 Coronado. It's got an absolutely gorgeous dial. Yeah, true tone. Look at that jobber. Queen of Sheba. Yeah. The jewels. Of the Nile. Of the Nile. Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. All right, you're on the air, man. What do we got going on here? Okay, this is the, our club silent auction. We have one at almost every one of our meets. Um, the way it works is people can bring in items that they would like to sell and maybe and uh, you know they don't have time to attend to them or a lot of times we'll have walk-ins they'll have a single radio to sell and we suggest this venue uh, the way the silent auction works is put your item out on the table you fill out one of these bid sheets you get the make model number um, you can put a minimum bid on it and you're the seller's name and the, uh, throughout the day until the end of the silent auction, bidders can come in and just write their name in and a price. All right, so the other day you were trying to sell these. <laughs> I got you, didn't I? So you she decided told to... me you'd be coming by. Oh, so you, you decided to just give them away instead, huh? Pretty much. We don't want to take them home again. I got you. I got gotcha. you. Well, but you know, we heard a little story. A guy told us that these particular speakers huh? were built by a coffin maker. Oh, That's really? why they're so well done in the front. EPI speakers, yes. Huh? The gentleman came by said he had a pair similar to them from the 70s. Yeah. Great speakers. We tried to get them to buy them, but he's already yeah. got some. But he told us a story that they that the EPA company bidded the cabinet work out to a, a coffin maker. Really? So they're probably nailed together. I don't ah, know. That was a joke. I know. Yeah. Funny, huh? Yeah. <laughs> You're on the air, man. What are you donating? 
Just miscellaneous parts. Ah, like anything good? Uh, well, there's some Let telephone, old telephone parts in here. Oh, okay. You got right. this 1976 battery. Oh, that's there cool. There you go. Yeah, I like that, man. You know, a lot of collectors want 50 years old yeah. next year, I believe, right? Does it still 40, work? 40 years old. So what are we bidding on, people? I got you now. You're going to have to talk. Uh, like this fisher right here. Yeah? Which, which one? This one right here. Oh, okay. The fisher. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you say you guys uh, like to repair and kind of fix them up and yeah, turn them maybe? Yeah, we just kind of tinker around a little bit. Yeah. I like to buy, resell, collect some things. So. Good. Good deal, man. We'll have fun. All right. Thank you. And the purpose? The purpose is, primary purpose is to let, prevent people from being screwed out of a, a valuable antique vintage radio. I let them know approximately how much the retail value of radios they bring in. Okay, so what, what do we got here for Radio Rescue? I'm going to feature this on YouTube. What we have here is a 1933 RCA Cathedral Radio, Model 100. This is what you call a miniature cathedral. Most cathedral radios are about one third larger uh, yep. filming around here. This one's in pretty nice condition. The, um, there's a little bit of damage on the case, but the original finish could be would, could be kept, which is a good thing. A very, you know, it's in good condition. It's 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 repairable. It can be made to look very nice and actually work. The, the minimal effort. So another radio is rescued. Yes, another radio is rescued. All right. And uh, <laughs> the book value, I I I look on the internet. Completed listings. One hasn't sold lately. Yeah. In this older book, in really good condition, they have it listed at two hundred dollars. Okay. In this current condition, the market really has been flat for a lot of years since the since the big downturn. Um, I could still say that it's, it, it could be up to the two hundred dollar range, even in this condition. Oh, good. Um, good. Can you let me? Of course I did. You know, I'm trying to figure this out. <laughs> I, I think there's something going on here. I really do think something's going hey, on, man. Last, last <laughs> chance, I'm going to offer you 150 bucks for all those cardboard boxes. Hey, I don't have any problem finding Bob. Not oh, yeah. a chance. <laughs> there's thousands of tubes in the boxes. Yeah, I'm still around. <laughs> yeah, I know you are. Yeah, see, I was You never told today. me your name, though. It's, yes, I have. You have? Yes. And you guys live locally? We do. Yeah? Yeah. How did we, did, now, did I ever met you before yesterday? Oh, yeah. And we've seen you at every one every, of these swaps. these meets, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I said, I know you from somewhere. <laughs> I have, but I have these senior moments. Oh, well, so do I. But, no, yeah. you're half my age. So amongst me is a bunch of donations. Either that or things that people gave up on selling. I'm not sure. So we got piles of good stuff. See there? Some great rust on that one. Over here, we have another fine pile. Let's walk over here and take a look. So what do we got here? Beautiful chassis. Huh? Some old Bakelite radios. All right, so these items are donated to the club. They use this money for the next year's event. So if you're here, buy up some of this little stuff needs a good home. Thank <laughs> you.